Hey everybody, happy Gratitude Wednesday. I want to share my thought for the day as well as something I'm grateful for and something I'm excited about. So the thought for today goes out to the people who are struggling with some hard times right now. And it's by a Canadian writer, Ava Nicole. She says, you can't truly appreciate the sunshine unless you've spent time in the rain. And it really is a, an expression about how everything is relative. And you can't appreciate good times unless you've struggled. Understanding that nothing is permanent. And then you can take a step back from that and you can also look at an expression my mom used to say, which is just like the good times seem to go so quickly, when you step back and you look at it in a snapshot in time, the bad times will go very quickly too. And I want to step out of whatever we're going through right now and take a look at it in the big scheme of things. Now, there are some dramatic things that happen, whether it's death or a divorce or something major, and those can be permanent. But the mindset that you're in right now, the emotional state that you're in right now, the feelings that you're currently feeling, those will change. So the point is, is persevere. Use this as fuel to know that whatever I'm feeling is going to get better at some point. And it's also a good way to level set when things are going really well, because when things are going really well, it's very easy to just ride that wave and not be present, assuming and expecting that they're going to stay really good forever. And again, just like with the bad things, they're going to change and they're not going to be permanent too. So what you want to do is savor those, be present for those positive things, just like you kind of have to get through the negative things. I hope this is something that you guys can look at and use to get yourself out of something that may be a tough situation or a tough time in your life. As far as something I'm grateful for, so I have a 17-year-old son, and he's been struggling trying to figure out what college he wants to go to next year, and he finally made a decision. I'm really proud of him. Really grateful, uh, a son who seems to have everything going in, in the right direction and uh, making good decisions. That is my gratitude for today. As far as something I'm excited about, I'm excited about all these conferences coming up. There's a bunch of speaking engagements that are going to be happening in the next month, two months, and I'm just excited to get to go out and meet more people, talk to people about compliance best practices and, and how important it is in the world of behavioral health care. One thing I'm going to start doing on these Wednesday videos is sharing some information about upcoming events and conferences that I'm going to be at. I'd love to get a chance to meet you guys in person. The feedback has been great and I've had a bunch of people asking to, to know where we're going to be next. So just a quick heads up, next week, which is the week of March 27th, I'm going to be in Philadelphia and New Jersey visiting some clients out there, but also speaking on a panel on March 29th at the Pyramid Club. And this is going to be a panel and a networking event for C-level executives in behavioral health or people looking to get into the space. There will be some networking. There's also going to be a panel discussion hosted by Ben Dittman of Kipu Health. And the panel is going to consist of Glenn Hadley from Dreamscape Marketing, Eric Greminger from ERP Health, Michelle Mullaney from Prosperity Behavioral Health, and me from Hatch Compliance. And we're going to be talking about the state of the industry, some new changes as it relates to payers, marketing for behavioral health, compliance and regulatory information, and a whole lot more. So if you're interested in attending the event, you can reach out to me directly, or you can click the link that I'm going to pop in the right up here, and you can sign up there. Now, the next event that I'm going to be at is in Austin, Texas, April 4th through 6th. There's going to be a policy summit. If you have any interest in learning about regulations and how they get codified, and the people who make the regulations and the standards, this is a good one to go to. It's going to be held in Austin, Texas on April 5th. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I thank you for your support and your feedback, and I look forward to next week. Have a great day.